How's it going YouTube? Kyle, or Epic here, with another tutorial for you all this week on a cat leap, or an arm jump as they call it in the UK. Uh, more specifically talking about jumping off a ledge and like, catching yourself into a cat. So real fast, let me demonstrate it and we'll go through breaking it down. Boom, and then you have a cat leap. Before I have you guys just throwing yourselves at the wall real fast, let's make sure that we all kind of understand how a cat leap actually works. If you watch a cat jump to a ledge of a wall, you'll see that when they land, their arms are straight and their legs are bent. So when you land, you want to land exactly in that position. Now you don't want to have your arms straight to where you land straight down, all that tension is going to rip your shoulders out of your sockets. No, you obviously have to use some arm strength, that's what your muscles are there for. But you want to kind of drop into that cat hang, so that means like so, the legs are, you know, my butt's not too close to my heels, my arms are, you know, I'm not leaning back, I'm not pushing away from the wall, I'm just kind of hanging, all right? This, that means none, no funky foot placement, no turning in here, none of, none of this, that's not a cat leap. You want to try and make it more relaxed and very casual, I guess you want to say, but when you approach it from the jump, hopefully understanding that you guys know how to do a precision jump, the idea is not to go face first. Because if you go face first in the jump, and your arms are weak, and you don't do it right, this happens. Ugh. That's how people hit their face, and that's, I mean, we've seen fail videos, so we all know what can happen. You don't want that to happen to your face. So, what I want you to focus on is just one simple drill before you go into the actual cat leap. And this might seem kind of weird, so I'm going to start on the ground, then go from there, and then we'll apply the cat leap. So real fast, all you're going to do is jump at the wall, land feet first, then push with your hands, and then land kind of casual. So you're gonna go like this, like so. Kind of simple, so you go feet, and then push off your hands. So your feet come off as your hands push. So you go further back and jump up higher, and then push off of your hands as your feet go down to the ground. That's gonna kind of get you used to going feet first, not face first. You're not going for a dive call, you're going for a cat leap, and you wanna land feet first, and then hands. If you don't land feet first, if you don't bring your feet up, if you don't land like this, approaching and reaching with your feet, what's gonna happen is your legs are gonna be straight and you're gonna slide, boom, straight down. Your chest is gonna hit the wall, your arms are gonna pull really hard, your shoulders can hurt, you can slip and hit your knee on the wall. There's a lot of wrong that can go on if you don't pick your feet up when you reach for the wall. So, taking that into consideration, what you're gonna do next is you can go on top of a ledge like this, you're gonna jump at the wall, do kind of the same principle. Feet first, push off your feet as you place your hands and then push off your hands. So you're gonna go like this. Like so. Pretty simple, focus on getting your feet up. Think about like a precision like into the wall and then you're kind of dropping down. And this is just for safety precautions. Very kind of simple. So you're going here, boom, and off. Once you have the understanding of approaching feet first, then you're gonna actually do the cat leap. So, when you land, you're not trying to land low. You're not trying to land too high. The idea is to have your momentum go up and out. So you can either grab it before you start to fall or just as you fall. If you're falling before you grab it, oh boy, you better have some strong ass arms because that's a lot of weight that's gonna pull you down when you grab that ledge. So focus on controlling your body, not just throwing it. So assuming you understand that safety drill that you just did, or assuming that you drilled it, you're gonna work on actually dropping into the cat leap. So you can start off a ledge first if you wanna kinda of get the basics down. So just kinda of walk up to the wall, jump, and then go cat leap there, drill that. Jump up, cat leap there. So you do want your feet to kind of reach for it before your hands so you can kind of cushion the landing and then grab as you hang because your feet need to reach there to kind of resist just enough to keep your butt from hitting your heels which will put a lot of tension on your knees because with all that force that you have jumping at that wall and if you land and you relax your legs too much and bend them too quickly all that tension goes to your knee and your ankle which could hurt so that's why you want to get that safety drill down and kind of get used to bringing feet first landing and then kind of cushioning it and after that, all you really have to do is just do the actual cat leap. So, control your body. Look at where your feet go before you jump, like you do a precision. But whenever you're in the air and you're going to the cat grab, focus on where your hands are going to grab. Because if you don't grab that ledge and you're focusing on where your feet are when you're landing, 
and your hands miss that ledge and you were like having a 40 story drop or whatever, you're falling to your death. Precision jump, take off, reach your feet up, plant your feet in the wall, and then boom, cat knee. All right? And you don't have to land pow like this. Sometimes if you land too tall, when it's like it's too close, then you can just kind of drop down into it. Just kind of focus on feeling it, having control. Not every gap or distance or cat leap, you know, ledge or wall that you find is going to be the same distance. Rather, it's sometimes they're going to be different, so you may have to adapt to how your body works. Other than that, that's pretty much the tutorial for the cat leap. It's a lot of fun, especially if you really get it down. It's a really great fingertip workout. It's amazing for your upper body if you work on landing in a cat leap and then focus on your climb up afterwards, because then when you get those down, you can have your own little conditioning routine, which is a lot of fun. Uh, you can land in the cat leap. If you took like off of precision or something, you can land in the cat leap, hang down, pop back up, and land back on the absolute that you took off of. There's so many kind of things that you guys can do from a simple cat leap. So go out there, train smart, perform safe, have fun, and stay positive. Thanks a lot for watching, you guys. See ya. Here's some slow ones.